What are your thoughts here? Because the Taliban, here's a very, we, we, we broke the story a couple of weeks ago, and you're the perfect person to talk to you about this. You're in government, plus you're, you know, you've got a great dog. So the Taliban right now in Afghanistan, they're offering $100,000 to, uh, to their soldiers if they can take out um, British and American dogs, sniffer dogs. Now, when we, we talked about the story, we just we couldn't believe that someone would do something like this because we're animal lovers, obviously. Right, right. right. And they usually use spaniels, too, as those sniffer dogs. Yeah. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, did. primarily. Yeah, and the spaniels, just you know, just because I didn't know this, but they can detect over 19,000 different scents of bomb material. So Wow. That's another facet of a very sad story of these extremists and... Uh, the lack of value of uh, any form of life, really, not just human life. So uh, I guess in one sense it's unsurprising because they they see it as total war. But, uh, you know, these uh, I'm very glad that we're able to use uh, dogs to help uh, save human lives. There's, there's so many stories, as you know, I'm sure on your program, of, of uh, dogs who have gone out of their way to uh, to save their master, you know, who's broken a leg in, in the bush or is in danger of drowning or, you know, fell, fallen off the bluffs, whatever it is, right? Uh, and uh, that's that's their that's their sense of uh, of saving, uh, you know, somebody they're attached to. So um, I, I'm, they're very valuable that way. And obviously, the the bad guys uh, see that too.